the sorting by this. So what's in front of my house is, uh, I'm not going to identify people, I'm not going to identify people. So I'm facing the door. Uh, the door is open, but I'm not going to identify people who are now walking in front of my house. Now I have been a gang stalking target since 2006, and noise is one of the most frequent uh, harassment tactics used by the government gang stalkers. So this morning I was woken up by this noise. One of the key harassment tactics used in government gang stalking. Now, what is government gang stalking? It's a program that was started by Bush Cheney. It primarily uses mobbing. Now, I actually haven't been going out that much lately because of the fact that I have a problem with my knees, and that's an interesting topic in itself to talk about that. Uh, however, So, because of the fact that they can't mob me in the community with the color red, the, the harassment has been taking place around my house. So, it's been primarily noise, and it goes on quite frequently. Now, I'm just showing you the bottom part of my door, because if I lifted the camera, you would see who's doing it. And I don't want to do that. I just want to show you, in other words, patterns, because that's what happens in government and struggle. There's the recurring patterns. The noise is one of them waking you up. There's another big one in government and struggle. The Stasi use unremitting harassment. And I believe that when Cheney started this government gang struggling program, he took as his model the Stasi and his journey. Now, who engages in government gang stalking? Well, it's police, it's firemen, it's ambulance drivers, it's citizen corps. In other words, Cheney got just about all your most respectable people to do it. So this is a program that's going to be very hard to stop. Now, what my gang stalking started with a suspicious activity report. I had a fireman neighbor who wanted us out of the neighborhood. I have a mental handicapped brother. I didn't like him, didn't like the things that he did. He was a narcissist. And this has been going on for two decades. Every day. When I did go in the community a lot, it was gang stalking in red. They would use red cars, red trucks, and we're red. The FBI calls this conspicuous surveillance. And it started when the guidelines for the FBI were changed under Lou Casey, who was the Attorney General in the Bush-Cheney administration. And I've been going through this every day for the last two decades. Like I said, this morning I was woken up by this noise. Uh, that's one of the favorite things, sleep deprivation. All right, so essentially, so what do you do when you're me? When you've been gang stalked for two decades, how do you expose this program? I'll tell you, I don't expect that Trump's going to stop it. I don't expect that he's going to kill people. Uh, police and firemen and ambulance drivers, and citizen for gang squad citizens and it started with programs like suspicious activity reports where people with personal vendettas like the fireman who was next to me in New York, New York start. Um, that's how they do this. There's no due process. Neighbors tomorrow, you. Alright, so how would you like to be a government gang stalking target for two decades? Now I'm pointing the camera deliberately on the floor of my front door because I don't want to 
say that an individual is a government gang struggler, but it is a big pattern for the government gang struggling to wake you up, to use noise to harass. Now, essentially, I'm 75 years old. This started 18 years ago, government gang stalking. Like I said, they changed the guidelines of the FBI, and, and what they did was they allowed you to go after anybody without suspicious of wrongdoing. That was A.G. McKay under Bush Cheney. This program's been going on, and only somebody like Dick Cheney could, could do something like this. You know, the person that got us into the Iraq war on lies. All right, so essentially, I have no defense. I can't go to the police because police gangs stalk you. So what do you do? Well, you put up with it. And, and I'm gang stalked by, like, um, it's Citizen Corps, so it's a lot of people. Uh, it's police, it's firemen, it's ambulance, both public and private. This has been going on since I lived in Newburgh, New York. I now live in California. Um, do I have any hope that it's going to end with Trump? Well, government was weaponized against him, so he knows what it's like. Um, but I do not expect him to say police and firemen gang stalk. I do not expect him to say that. I don't expect any politician. How does any politician say that? You know, this started when I was in New York. This is a national program. I live in California now. You know, I saw as I crossed the United States that this was going on in Texas, that this was going on in Arizona. Um, it's going on in multiple states, maybe all of them. I don't know. So essentially, um, I was actually quite excited when Matt Gates was uh, appointed Attorney General because he's kind of the character that might expose this. Um, do I expect Pam Bondi to expose it? No. The only person that I have a little confidence and a little hope that's going to stop it is the... Um, Senator, and his name is escaping me now, um, from Utah. So here I am, woken up this morning by the noise of power equipment. They love to use power equipment, and they get surrounding neighbors to use it. All right, I'll just end it now. Like I, like I said... Um, I believe it's almost my destiny to try to expose government gang stalking, and that's all I can do. I can show the patterns. Like I said, I never say an individual is a government gang stalker. I'm not a mind reader. I can't do that. But all I do is show you the recurring patterns, and noise is a recurring pattern. Um, waking you up, that's a recurring pattern. Um, so we'll stop. I'll just say that government gang stalking is a surveillance program that uses mobbing. It's an unremitting harassment program. Um, it really bothers me that the house next to me, I believe, has been empty. The house attached to mine has been empty. Uh, now, there's gaslighting. And so, like, um, in government gang stalking, uh, what appears to be is not with the FBI. Uh, you can only guess what goes on. Um, so, all I can do is the best I can do to expose government gang stalking. Like they, um, in, in the beginning, uh, they would send, when I lived in Newburgh, New York, they would send um, mental health to my house. And they would, they would try to get you to stop exposing government gang stalking. But, like I said, it, the idea that this goes on in the United States of America is outrageous. And nobody would ever believe it until you saw the weaponization of government under Trump. Until you saw 
the weaponization of government and the democratic administration and, and, and the unbelievable things that Democrats do, the lies, and, and the, I just refer to it as globalist totalitarianism. Like, um, essentially, there's a lot of people that just don't like our Constitution, that don't like due process, um, that don't like freedom of speech, that want to get rid of it. But luckily, Trump has won the election. Like I said, I don't expect him to save the police and firemen gang stalk. Um, I wish this program could be stopped uh, without saying that, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, goodbye.